Puffy likes to get up on this and then nose and paw art up the window. It's like her own personal canvas. Hellions, good morning. What would the day be without starting out with corn? I have to. It's a major part of my life. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Oh my gosh. Early developments this morning. Uh, you guys know last night I was talking about uh, cleaning up the backyard and getting like all the paint and stuff off of here so that I can get rid of this so that I can clean my window and it'll actually stay clean without Buffy prints on it because Buffy likes to get up on this and then nose and paw art up the window. It's like her own personal canvas. The people that picked up the panels the other day, hence the reason why there's no panels, white balance, thank you, uh, right out there, it's because they picked them up, which was awesome. Uh, talked to him about the prop car, and guess what? It's not official yet, so I, I, I'm not, oh, well, I am really excited, I can't lie. Um, the prop car is going to be going to a new home. You guys have no idea how relieved I am for that, because the other alternative was to cut it into scrap, throw it in the back of the truck, and bring it down and scrap it, and destroying something that you've built is so much different than just getting rid of it or selling it and having somebody else take it and use it and modify it you know your 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 work carries on which carry on my wayward son pops in my head right now but uh, you know to destroy something that you've made that's it just kills me it would have killed me so I'm so glad that um, it's going to be going to a different home which is really, really cool. So I can't wait to see, well, I probably won't end up seeing because they live like way east in the middle of the state. Um, so they're also, it's like three hours to get here from where they're at. So, wow. So a six hour trip to come and get the prop car. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's the early morning development. Well, a construction update. It looks like uh, they're cutting more brush. That's awesome. I'm not sure if these trees are going over here or not. And he's blowing brush. That's funny. Anyway, the uh, southbound lanes are blocked. You can't come southbound, but you can go northbound, basically. You know, and usually they give like an estimated time of completion. Like, this is Gravelly Lake. So Gravelly Lake Road closed from blah, blah, blah until blah, blah, blah. But there, there's, there's none of that. There are no um, proposed land use action signs anywhere. So I have no idea how long this project's gonna take. Not that it really matters because it's gonna take as long as it takes. And I, I think that's so funny. Like, let's say the power goes out and people are like, oh my gosh, when's the power gonna come back on? It'll be on when it's on. Knowing when it comes on is not going to change the right now that it's not on. So you make your preparations and why well, you should be prepared for that stuff anyway, because you know, who knows? Tomorrow there could be a zombie apocalypse. It could happen right now. Probably not. Oh, I know. Oh, vibration. Sorry, I'm probably like, aren't I? Okay, I'll stop talking. Here. Now I'm no longer like that. Change the harmonics of the vehicle. Vehicle harmonics. Not to be confused with Phil Harmonics. Totally different. Well, there's something you don't see every day. That was awesome. Yeah, this is a rush hour and we are headed out to an afternoon appointment. In rush hour. And it's slightly warm today too. 78 Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius. I did the calculations in my head prior to filming this clip. See, I was thinking. But it's beautiful outside. Nice blue sky, not a cloud. Whoa, hold on. I don't think there's a cloud in the sky. I'm driving, so I don't want to look around too much. Because if I start looking around, people are going to look at me looking at what I'm looking at, and then they're going to look, and then everybody's going to get into a big accident. And that would be bad. Judging from the traffic on the way back here, it looks like when I come back, I'm going to have a lot of time to reflect upon my day and think of stuff and traffic. So the job is over. Um, I need more steps and uh, there's a backup on the freeway so it doesn't really matter I mean the backup is a backup if anything it should get better as time goes on um, I've got a jack-in-the-box over there I was gonna grab a cheeseburger and then it's like oh wait I need steps and Safeway's right here so I'm gonna go and get some provisions that I need anyway not refrigerated stuff at Safeway 
and then grab a burger and then head home. Sounds like a plan. Let's uh, do this. And I'm, I'm like dirty. Holy cow. This is going to be great. Going into a public place all nasty and dirty. Ugh. I've been to Safeway. I've gotten my cheeseburger. Let's go sit in traffic. Yay. Cheesy fake smile. I'll tell you, it's weird when it's all nice weather outside and clear because it looks like that plane is just going to like land right here in the freeway. <laughs> but it's not. At least I hope not. So we're out of the rush hour, which is awesome. We're headed home, which is even awesomer. One stop in between here and home, which is like eh, but it's got to be done. So GPS is telling me to keep right at the fork. The fork. I guess this is a proverbial fork. Well guys, I haven't vlogged a lot today and that's actually kind of a blessing in disguise because, well, let's start with this. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta turn it on and then I want, what do I want? I want spray, I don't want stream. Oh yeah, I want this one here, I think. Okay, here we go. So, here. oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so. Doing this to hopefully kill all those stupid little uh, earwigs because they like to do this. Anyway, like I was saying that um, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that I haven't vlogged a lot today because that will give me an opportunity to hopefully edit more video today for the corn stock tutorial. Speaking of corn stocks. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is going to be a summer of corn. Okay, switch hands because this one's getting tired. Oh, I forgot I had the windows open. That's great. Oh, perfect. Now the inside of my house is going to smell like this stuff. What does this stuff smell like? It doesn't really have a smell. That's good. You have been a good girl. You haven't touched this at all. So the sprinklers got it last night, and I'm going to get it a little bit more here, just to make sure. Got to keep it moist, not wet. I'm not, I do not have a green thumb, that's why my apple trees are dying. Yeah, so I figured that uh, once the prop car is out of here, um, the vines from here, we'll just take them uh, possibly over the fence and just let them grow wherever the heck they want to over here. And it's not too big of a not too big of a deal. It's not like I've got a yard full of grass or anything. Most of it's weeds, but they're green. They're green weeds. Hellions, it is the end of the evening. That means it is time for COC tonight. We have double COC because we have it from last night and from tonight. Hi, Buffy. Hi. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Move this out of the way so I can actually see the screen. Uh, we're not going to read everybody's comments because, again, it's late tonight. And if I had it my way, I'd say, you know something, we're just going to do COC tomorrow night. But then it gets into this whole thing of how many vlogs am I going to do that. So we're going to do this. We're going to get it taken care of. Uh, first comment from the night before last, CapZone2, you say, awesome first. CNS Services, uh, you say, I'm happy to see you and Phoenix got so much done this weekend. It was a weekend of getting things done, and that's going to be this the next several weekends hopefully we're going to continue to get a lot of things done halloween fur i was hoping you were going to put a headstone in the garden you read my mind don shaw you're you're so nice you say that you're such a great daddy to phoenix i try i try to do my best and try to raise him to be a nice contributing member to society angie hill you say merms awesome and you oh you you said awesome that's Pretty awesome and you also say uh, a lot or a lot this will help you remember from here on out and you gave a link to the a lot monster grim path we put in 4 by 20 rows of corn mostly to use the stocks for a Halloween display it makes sense right if you had a dedicated spot to do that every year then it totally makes sense because it wouldn't really cost that much as long as you don't start them in January and run up your heating bill because you were you're trying to make them so they don't freeze and so they live but I digress. You also say put dishes full of beer out for the slugs. They crawl in, get drunk, and drown. Scare Studios. Phoenix will be a great haunter. I'm not forcing him into this. This is what 
he enjoys too. So as of right now, he's into it, which, third time I've said this in a row. It's awesome. God, I gotta find a new word. Graham Newcomb. I'm first from Australia, LOL. Wow, you watch from Australia? That is so cool. That just blows my mind. And the final comment, uh, Caroline, Canadian trucker gal, you say, awesome, ha ha ha. Yep, he's coining my phrase, which is pretty dang cool. Um, all right, so COC from last night. This is the smelly paint blog. Ugh, gross. Uh, Capstone 2, you were first for that, and you say, hi, it's Taco Tuesday. K Bear Fuzzy Ears says, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Mary Paradiso, hi, Troy. Great vlog. Can't wait to see the progress of those pumpkins. I can't wait until they start growing. Because then, I mean, right now, it's like, it's an unknown. Am I watering too much? Am I watering them? Am I not watering them enough? I, I don't know. But until they sprout, we don't know. Emerald Gypsy Heart, I love the pumpkin patch grave. Hi, Troy. Can't wait for the pumpkins to start growing is what Nicole Flynn said. Jason McDougall, Buffy and Diesel need to meet one day. That'd be awesome. It really would be cool. I, I don't know if they get along or not. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. And the final comments of the night come from Triv27. I'd say that is one lucky damn customer to have you fixing their car just before it could have potentially had a catastrophic accident. Man, can you just imagine doing 60 or 70 miles an hour down the freeway? And like I said, tie rods keep your wheels like this. So if you turn to the left, my left, your right, then they go this way. Turn to the right, your left, my right. They go this way. If one of those rods break, this one does whatever it wants to. Bleh. This one, oh, oh gosh, it's just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. There's gotta be a YouTube video on that somewhere. Somebody's had to have filmed something like that happening before. You also say the check engine light came on in my car over the weekend, so I had to check today. Purge valve stuck open, so it looks like I need to get it replaced. Would like to have you do it, but I don't think you want to do a house call to Wisconsin. I'd be happy to do a house call to Wisconsin. The problem is, you wouldn't be able to afford it. <laughs> the mobile service fee alone would be astronomical. All right, guys, happy haunting. Thank you guys so very much for, for watching and commenting and thumbs upping and sharing this video link because who knows? This may not have been the greatest vlog in the world, but it, it's, you know, if you share them, then maybe, maybe one day I'll be able to dedicate all my time to vlogging and not working. All right. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Scary.